It's time now for Keller at Large. Here's John. Thanks so much for joining us. Well, tomorrow's Patriots Day holiday is sort of an unofficial start to the prime tourism season here in the Boston area. That, in turn, is a crucial engine of our regional economy. So it's a perfect time to take the pulse of the economy with our guest this morning. He's the president and CEO of the Greater Boston Chamber of Commerce, Jim, Ru Jim Rooney, excuse me, Jim, whose resume includes overseeing the Mass Convention Center Authority, serving as chief of staff to the late Mayor Tom Menino, and perhaps his crowning achievement, president of his class at Boston Latin School. Very proud of that, John. Was that a rigged election, Jim, or was that on they, the level? They, there was all sorts of recounts, but I won. <laughs> well, congratulations. <laughs> Good to have you nice here. Nice to be here. So, prime Boston office buildings yeah. have been selling lately for half or less of their pre-pandemic values as the work-from-home phenomenon continues to sort of hollow out the downtown economy. As a result, a recent report by the well-respected Center for State Policy Studies at Tufts on behalf of the Boston Policy Institute forecast major reductions in the city's property tax revenues that were paid by these building owners, and that could mean a huge hole in the city's budget. Mayor Wu this past week called those projections, quote, fake information. Who's right? Well, um, I don't think they're fake information, and I think that, the, the, you know, the projections are based on some sets of assumptions that any economic forecast goes into, so, you know, one could challenge the assumptions. But let's take a step back and talk about the importance of commercial real estate in Boston as it relates to the city's budget. It's the golden goose. Seventy percent of the city's budget or revenue budget comes from property taxes, most of that from the commercial property taxes. And one of the reasons why our property taxes, residential property taxes in Boston are so low, among the lowest in the Commonwealth, is because the commercial property tax rate is proportionally higher and we've created all kinds of new commercial property over the past 20 years. Think about the seaport, John, and the growth down there. Um, so what's happening now, as you said, we're in this post-pandemic era in which what is the workforce going to do has resulted in 20% vacancy rates, has diminished the values, and they're selling for discounts up to 50% of what they were bought for five and 10 years ago. And on top of that, interest rates are so high, it's tough to get money to build new inventory. And you add all those numbers up, and if you look at the mayor's budget this year, there's a 41% reduction from new commercial real estate property from last year. A big drop in that number. So the projections are beginning to, to come to fruition. Well, when the Menino administration faced a similar issue in 2003-2004 with the bursting of the dot-com yeah. bubble and other economic issues. Uh, there was a lot of budget cutting that went on, yeah. along with an effort now being duplicated by Mayor Wu to get permission from the state to raise the commercial property tax rate. But Mayor Wu's new budget increases by 8%. What's going on? Yeah, um, that's a troubling combination, John. And in addition to this proposal to increase the tax rate on commercial property, in the context that I just described of a struggling commercial real estate market, not just here in Boston, this is national, so, but that's the reality and that's not her fault. Um, but on top of that, um, We've seen proposals for transfer fees. We've seen proposals for increased linkage fees. We've seen stricter energy efficiency requirements that increase the cost of new construction. You add that to all the other things I said before, building anything new in Boston is becoming almost impossible. Um, so you've got this situation where the mayor's introducing these financial burdens along with process changes and the like, and at the same time, increasing spending by 8%. To the, to the 
community, that's a curious combination. Well, we've got to take a break, but I, I, I'm sure there are people watching us right now who are saying, oh, oh, oh boo-hoo, these wealthy uh, developers and property owners are, are going to make a little less uh, wealth uh, in this cycle. Why should I care about them? Uh, why is this a problem? Briefly, address that viewer. Well, um, I, I go back to what I said at the beginning. You're not nurturing the golden goose, you're strangling the golden goose of commercial real estate that has kept residential property taxes down and that have funded police, fire, and schools for decades in Boston.